Mark, so patients with chronic pancreatitis have some nutritional issues. What kind of dietary recommendations, nutritional recommendations, vitamin levels, are those all important? What do we do about that? Well, they are important. And uh, early in the course, uh, the pancreas typically works well enough to digest food that uh, patients don't need to be on any special diet or necessarily be on vitamins at that time, although your physician may choose to put you on a multivitamin. Um, or even uh, supplemented with vitamins that are called fat-soluble vitamins, so vitamins A, D, E, and K. Um, but your physician will monitor you closely uh, for signs that your pancreas may not be digesting food properly, and some of those mm -hmm. symptoms can be uh, weight loss, uh, change in your stool pattern, uh, sometimes symptoms like abdominal pain, um, increased uh, intestinal gas. And at those cases, uh, the, your physician will do testing to determine whether or not your pancreas still digests foods properly. Nowadays, most people would start with the stool test called fecal elastase, which is a screening test to see if there's evidence that your pancreas isn't working well enough. And if that uh, is the case, uh, typically you would follow that up with another test to measure function that's a little bit more specific. Uh, sometimes that's done with a long flexible tube, an endoscope that goes through the mouth and down into your small intestine where you can collect pancreatic fluid and, and measure the digestive properties of that fluid. Uh, some people still do a, a stool test where they'll collect your stool over a period of three days and measure how much fat comes out because fat is the nutrient that you're most likely to not absorb well or digest well with your pancreas. And if it's found that your pancreas is not functioning well, then you definitely need to have supplementation. And currently there are uh, products called pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy uh, that contain the digestive enzymes that you need. And uh, people would need to take those with every meal and every snack. And usually when a patient has developed pancreatic insufficiency, they should be on multivitamins and particularly supplements with fat-soluble vitamins, the A, D, E, and K I mentioned earlier. And your doctor will monitor those. Um, other vitamin levels that can be affected would be um, B12 because that requires some of the digestive properties for it to be absorbed correctly. And your doctor will monitor those as well as, as other issues that may be related to pancreatic in, um, insufficiency. Um, typically, you would not alter your diet. Many people think, well, I, I don't absorb fat well, I should be on a low-fat diet. But paradoxically, if you do that, you won't get enough calories and uh, that may actually affect weight gain in, in a growing child or in adults or older children uh, still lead to ongoing weight loss. So typically we have uh, patients on a, a, a usual diet uh, and in some forms of chronic pancreatitis, uh, in some situations you may even increase the amount of fat that's in their diet. So the nutritional aspects of a patient with chronic pancreatitis is critically important to consider over the long term. What do we tell families about that long-term follow-up? Well, I think it's important that they understand that their child does need to be followed up on a regular basis. And how often that occurs um, depends on uh, the child's health status and the preferences of their treating physician. Um, if the child has done, done very well and they're gaining weight and they're asymptomatic, you may wait um, you know, six months to a year even to see them. If there are any concerns, you might see them more often. And certainly when you start a child on pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy, you'll need to follow them uh, much more frequently because it's not unusual to have to adjust the dose to get to the right amount of enzymes they need for them to properly absorb food. Great, really important to follow these long-term needs.